And we are back live here as the ACW Tag Team titles are on the line. And, whoa, here comes Mustache Mountain. Tyler Bate and Trent Seven taking on the Straw Hat Pirates for the ACW Tag Team Championships. And there they are. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is going to pour one ball. And it's for the ACW Tag Team Championships. And a combined weight of 391 pounds, the team of Tyler Bate and Trent Seven Mustache Mountain. Well, Mustache Mountain on their way to the ring. These young guys are going to do whatever it takes to win the ACW Tag Team Championships. And so, folks, I've heard a commotion backstage between Otis and Tucker. Their, their friendship escalated, knowing they're on a losing streak with one another. And it looks like their tag team partnership, I'm being told, has come to an end here in ACW. Well, no doubt about it here, folks. This is going to be one hellacious match for the ACW Tag Team titles on the line here. All right now, though, folks, we got to take a break. Do not go anywhere. But we come back, the ACW Tag Team titles are on the line. We'll be right back here, folks. Stay with us. That's what, what happens ever seen before about GGB has missing once again. It has been what happens. All friends has been saved his life to the Cerido, and now he's been trapped in different dimensions in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. With all what happens, we'll find out that the CGTP will find him, which will decide to the Rocky. And welcome back live, ladies and gentlemen, as the ACW Tag Team titles on the line. Here comes one half of the champions, Roland Dolezal, and their opponents at a combined weight of 577 pounds. They are the ACW Tag Team Champions, the team of Roland Dolezal, and the captain of the Straw Hat Pirates, Monkey D. Luffy, the Straw Hat Pirates. Well, the Straw Hat Pirates and that flag says it all. The most dominating tag team champions already in ACW's generation. But I just can't believe it is that the tag team champs are unstoppable. But is there any two-man combination on God's Green Earth here in ACW that can defeat the Straw Hat Pirates? We don't know that for sure because we already know that Rowan Nozaro has a fatal four-way elimination match coming up. We already know Jaden's in the match. And plus, we already got two more spots to, to go. As we know that coming up next, Captain Buggy, the unpredictable one, I'm being told, is taking on Alistair Black in the ACW Championship opportunity. And there's Monkey D. Luffy, one half of the other tag team champions, already making his way to the ring. This has got to put a smile on his face, knowing that he is one half of the tag team champions. And this is a major opportunity for Luffy. And we know that after Alistair Black and Captain Buggy's match, the unpredictable one, that we already know that coming up in our women's division, Nami taking on Alicia Fox for the opportunity to meet Red and Marceline for the ACW women's title. And we're being told that earlier tonight, before we came on the air, our general manager, Noah Anderson, had a lot to say for this mystery participant that's gonna be involved for the ACW women's championship. We don't know who it is, but we'll find out coming up this Sunday, and we'll keep you posted on the situation Maintain available. And right now, though, folks, this is it. The tag team titles on the line here. These fans here already got their money's worth earlier tonight by seeing the debut of Dominic Mysterio and winning his debut match. And that was an amazing match, I'll tell you that much. An well, ovation for the challengers, the number one contenders. And listen to that ovation for the champions. I'm just going to say, though, what an amazing reaction between the challengers and the champions. 
I know referee's got the he's got those title belts signifying that the tag titles are on the line here. Those championships have a huge resume here in ACW. The first ever champions were Undisputed Era. Second ever champions, Ben 10, Kevin 11. And the third team to win it and become the two-time champions were the Undisputed Era. And look at this. Trent Seven going for an early submission hold on the captain, Monkey D. Luffy. And I'm surprised enough that Mustache Mountain trying to do whatever it takes to win some tag team gold. Rowan Ozol dominating the fight, drop kick. Oh, Tyler Bates back to his feet. And Zorro taking him down. Monkey D. Luffy coming back. And there's a slam by Luffy. Taking down Trent Seven. And there's the gum gum pistol. Taking down Trent Seven. That was more like a knockout punch. Rowan Ozol from the top. Elbow drop, but he missed. Because Luffy's going after Tyler Bates. Wait a minute, I think he told he told Zoro, one of the one of his crew members, to go after Trent Seven. Trent Seven now in trouble, and so is Tyler Bate. And the captain of the Straw Hats really fired up here. And Zoro being saved by his captain. Super kick! Zoro still standing! Luffy now. Tyler Bate and Trent Seven getting dominated by the champions. And Oh my, a backbreaker. Standing mood salt. My goodness. Both these two are cruiserweights. I'll tell you that much. And there's that amazing suplex maneuver into a DDT. And oh, wait a minute. Trent Seven in trouble. And Tyler Bate saving his partner. Trent Seven, Tyler Bate, the challengers, giving it their all to win the titles tonight. Oh, look out, Luffy going for a cover. Is this it right here? One, no, and a one count. Mustache Mountain being dominated by the champions. The tag titles on the line here. Well, wait a minute. A referee inadvertently took it down. And now Zoro coming back. Roll Noah Zoro, the world's greatest swordsman. Has got it right where he wants him here. And uh oh, here we go. Elbows to the gut. And we're going to know that coming up later on our main event, Yugi Moto versus Trunks for the opportunity for the ACW title in the qualifying match for the Fatal 4-Way Elimination match. Well, look at this. Standing in Seguri by Zoro, taking Trent Seven down and Tyler Bate with the advantage and Luffy saving one of his crew members. And whoa! Launching himself like a human cannonball. My goodness. Mustache Mountain, Trent Seven, Tyler Bate getting dominated by the champions. And Zoro launching him over the top. Wait a minute, where's Zoro going here? Luffy in this all alone in the ring. Going for that gum gum pistol. But Trent Seven reversed it. Oh my god! What a move by Roland Zoro! Taking Tyler Bate down on the outside. There's that sling blade taking him down. And whoa, Tyler Bate is back to his feet. I'm surprised that both these men are doing whatever it takes to win the ACW Tag Team Championships. Oh, wait a minute. Not a good idea, Trent Seven. Floating right in the face of Roa Noah Zorro. And Monkey D. Luffy. Taking advantage of the situation. Rowan Ozoro fired up here. The world's greatest swordsman's back to his feet. Well, for that right hand, but well, Zoro reversed it. And he brings one of the members back in the ring at Trent Seven, Tyler Bate, giving it their all to win here tonight. And Monkey D. Luffy kicking the legs. Oh, Tyler Bate, Trent Seven, doing whatever it takes to win the titles. There's a stomp in the arm. And now, Roa no Zoro. Saving his captain again. And what a slam. 
Oh, so kick to the head. Uh oh. I think I know what Rowan knows. Oh, is going for here. There's that first move salt. There's the second. Looking for the third and final move salt. We got one more to go. Can he nail it here? There's the triple vertical move salts. Cover. One, two. And Tyler Bate saving Trent Seven that time. Oh, Zorro, look at the power of this man. Kick to the head. Standing in Zagari on Luffy. Monkey D. Luffy in trouble. You better not aim for that straw hat. Because I've seen how Luffy gets when someone touches it. My goodness. Scoop slam coming. No. A counter. And there's a cutter. And a knee lift to the gut. The match is still going on here. Nothing was on the line here tonight. And there's that big slam again. Trench seven. Tyler Bate dominating the fight. And Roland Alzar going for a back suplex. There's a counter. And there's that spinning hill kick right in the face of one of the champions. Oh, Luffy back to his feet. Here comes the captain. Saving one of his crew members that time. Double cover. Kick out at one. And uh oh. An overhead belt of belly suplex by Luffy. Coming. Leg drop. Here's the cover. Is this it? Two. No. And a kick out. An amazing pile driver. Luffy stunned. Cover. No. And a kick out. And there's a backhand chop. I think I knew that. That was more like a reverse version of the gum gum pistol. Here's the cover. Is, it, is this over right here? Two. No. And a kick out. Man, Mustache Mountain ain't giving up. Knowing the tag titles are on the line here. There's a knockout punch on Luffy. Rowan Zoro in trouble. Doing whatever it takes to win here tonight. And a sit-out power bomb. A tiger bomb. Cover. Two. No. And Zoro saving his partner. Saving his captain. And a big splash. And Luffy sends him off the ropes. They collided. There's a right hand. And a takedown and, uh-oh. Tyler Bate, and look at that combination by Luffy. Taking down. Oh, Luffy, going up top. We've seen this before. Oh my God, what a move from Luffy from the top rope. Oh, Luffy, calling for the end. Looking for his patented finishing move. The gum gum pistol. And down he goes. More like a gum gum gap lick. Going for a chop block on one of the challengers, but inadvertently took in our referee down. Now we got no referee here to maintain some order. And there's a Pele kick by Zoro. My God here, folks. Rowan on Zoro doing whatever it takes. Now Luffy kneeling the chop block on one of the challengers. And Luffy fired up here. Looking to make his comeback known right here and now. Here comes the captain. Off the ropes, there's the shoulder tackles. Luffy sent over the over the top. And now Luffy from the top high rig. Axe handle right in the face of one of the challengers. And now look at Zoro. Here's the cover. Could the straw heads retain it here? No, and that kick out. Trent Seven and Tyler Bate doing whatever it takes to, to win it all here. Luffy with a counter. And there's the gum gum pistol. Lights out. Rowan knows all picking him up. And oh, Tyler Bate is fired up as Trent Seven is in trouble. Here comes Tyler Bate. Neck breaker. There's a moonsault. Oh, Zoro looking for those vertical moonsaults again. Luffy with a counter. And there's the three vertical moonsaults. Referee on a cover. Is this it? Two, three. And the Straw Hats are victorious. The Straw Hat Pirates are still the champions. There's that gum gum pistol. There's that amazing move by Tyler Bate. And Trent Seven gave it his all. As you can tell, Luffy went for the cover. There's that pile driver by Trent Seven. And the gum gum pistol right in the face. 
That was an amazing maneuver by Luffy in the early goings. I thought for sure the champions retain all here, but there's that kick out. My goodness. Here are your winners, and still ACW Tag Team Champions, Roland Olazoro and Monkey D. Luffy, the Straw Hat Pirates. The Straw Hat Pirates, victorious, walking out of the ACW arena with their Tag Team Championships securely intact before this Sunday night. Oh, no doubt about it, the champions victorious. Roland Ozo's got a huge challenge to date this Sunday with his championship on the line against Jaden. But we don't know who's going to be qualifying for the final two spots. But we know coming up next, Alistair Black versus the unpredictable Captain Buggy. It's all boy, that matchup is huge. And it's coming to you. Ah.